Well, Sharon, Micah, that's right. There are early signs that the surge is slowing, but hospitalizations and deaths, well, they're a different story. 102 deaths were reported across L.A. County today. Health officials say 90% of those involve people who contracted COVID after December 24th, indicating they likely became infected with the highly contagious Omicron variant. Um, I have a picture of my brother, uh, Christian, here um, with his... Uh, his three-year-old son and his girlfriend. Gino Cabrera is praying for his brother Christian. He's fighting for his life. The 40-year-old father contracted COVID-19 shortly after the Christmas holiday. Last week, he began struggling to breathe. He was rushed to the emergency room, where he learned he had pneumonia in both lungs. Christian is not vaccinated, and his condition has only gotten worse. He keeps saying that, you know, please take care of my son, because. You know, he might not make it and he might die in there. While there is evidence the latest Omicron surge is slowing, the rate of virus spread in L.A. County is at an all time high. More than 42,000 new cases reported Thursday, more than 100 dead in a single day, the highest daily death toll since last March. Public health officials say nearly one in every six people tested is COVID positive. Our hospital and our ICU and ER are, are like war zones. Dr. Thomas Yedegar is the medical director of the intensive care unit at Providence Cedar sinai Tarzana Medical Center. He says the vast majority of the most severe COVID patients are unvaccinated. Yedegar anticipates the test positivity rate will come down in the coming weeks, but hospitalizations and deaths will rise since both are lagging indicators. If you're fighting an enemy that is relentless, I think it's vitally important to give your body every chance possible to get better because that's what vaccine, getting your, yourself vaccinated and boosted will do. Christian Cabrera is unable to talk at any great length. His lungs are just too weak but he sent his brother Gino this text message late Thursday. It's really heartbreaking because he said, I can't breathe again. I really regret um, not getting my vaccine. If I can do it all over again, I would do it in a heartbeat to save my life. I'm fighting for my life here and I wish I would have gotten vaccinated. It's very painful today, very hard to breathe and I'll talk to you later. The Cabrera family has set up a GoFundMe for Christian. If you'd like to help, you can find a link to donate on our website, ktla.com. Share, Micah, back to you.